Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 24, part 5 of a Let's Play at Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we be fully began our freight operations of transporting rice, sugar, and fish to the food processing plant here in, Midi in Memphis, Tennessee, as well as transporting, well, transporting our first loads of food to Vicksburg and Natchez, and also connecting to the town of Hattiesburg. And in this episode, we're going to continue on with the expansion of our rail line as we have now crossed into Arkansas, as now we can finally connect to this grain farm and transport grain to Louisiana. Now then, let's see. First of all, we should at least get the station in Jackson ready, too. But first of all, we also need to work on the main line to connect to Griffith. Renda. Let's basically work on this track work first. All right. Now, because of the main, this middle line of a no bay platform, so I'll have to basically make this a double slip switch in. And at the same time, I also got to work on getting this freight passing track connected to the main line network. Basically, we'll have to do it like this. So, no loads. Well, I think it may have been filled up. The game just kind of glitched out. All right, let's see. I'll just double slip switch all of these crossover pieces. All right. Which means this can go. Because now the switches have been set properly. I'll need to set up the slip switch there. And let's basically get also started on the station here in Jonesboro. All right. 360 meter station platform. Turn it around to a direction that's good. Place it down. And then just simply get rid of these platforms. Place down the wooden passenger platforms here. tracks and add these wooden pedestrian crossings and do the same for this side as well. Alright, we'll place the passenger station here for now, and lay down the track work for the station completely. Pull in out a roof, and then schedule a new passenger service to connect to this town. Alright. Place down these roofs so the station will look, well, perfect for those who want to basically stay under it and when it rains. 
place some more of these. And then set up a, well, a road connection from the station into town. And according to the area, the station area could basically fit here. Or up here, or somewhere where there's a lot of connections to this. We'll just uh, put the freight station on this track he in this area here. Then we'll have to reconnect this. Well, we'll have to connect this section to the main line here. Double slip switch it, and then basically work on this. Now, there are no towns up on this side other than the Opelos, which is down that way. That will be a cross buck. Let's see. 45 to 45. That. And that. 50. 50. Well then, Chicago is planning to host a World's Fair in 1893. Lots of different materials are needed to construct the massive exposition. The organizers have asked you to transport stone, planks and or steel to the construction site in Chicago before the opening. If you manage to get production to the second level, they will pay you $2 million. Alright, here's another bonus task that we, here's another task that we need to complete. We need to get the Chicago World's Fair up by 1893, and we'll basically earn two million dollars in cash. However, in order for that to happen, we need to deliver stone from that quarry to Springfield. And Illinois is 15 million credits. St. Louis is 4 million, and our company hasn't expanded further that out yet. Further out yet. We'll also need to get rid of this uh, field in some way. Fifty-five to fifty-five. Do this and do this. Forty-five miles an hour on this crossover. Then do this and do this. And, hmm, this is going to be a bit of a tricky situation, as I need a long station platform to service this grain facility. But it'll be too long to basically fit into a proper track section. Hmm, maybe I could s slowly connect it to this. Or I could basically place it alongside the main road. But that entails of removing some of the, well, field. All right. Jonesboro North. 45 miles an hour. And then we'll basically reconnect it to the main line here, add a slip switch, and now let's add the signals for the new extension. Add the signals for the station, for the express train platforms and the freight bypass track, as well as the signals for the local commuter train platforms. I'll have to build an extension to connect to that farm in just a moment or so. But for now, I still need to basically get the rest of, well, the main line constructed. Alright. 
speaking of which, I might as well replace the tunnel entrances with something a little more with the new tunnel mod that I had installed for this episode. Get rid of these. Change it to this. It was a little expensive, but at least it will basically make the tunnel look a little more stable. We'll place another set here. And put another crossover switch to this platform here. And place down another one of these disc signals. Ooh, 10.5 million dollars. That's from just delivering rice. And there's a lot of food waiting to be picked up for Freight Train D2. And that train's making a pretty good amount of money. And our Memphis food production plant is starting is now at level 2, which means it will need more commodities, but it will make more cargo. At the same time, we should also basically lay out the tracks for, well, for the, mid, for the middle line, as well as for the far right line. There we go. Delete these two rails, and now the new section is finished. Ooh, that's not good. This is these two cross these three crossovers are not gonna make a switch. I'll have to see if I can like jerry rig a switch crossover here. I think I'll have to basically rework the switches over this track again. Let's see. There we go, much better. We'll place double slip switches on these so the trains can easily enter the platforms so they wish. And add another double slip switch there. We'll also add a signal to the new spur track. And add some new signals here as well. Some signals here for the freight bypass track. Oh, and that also reminds me, I also need to connect both the lumber mill and the tobacco plant at the same time. I think the track work is finally done, but let's get started with a new freight service to deliver grain. At long last, we'll finally get food production started here in New Orleans. Hmm? Oh. That's funny. The track work should... could not connect to all stations. I think one of my signals that's going out on this line is... I think maybe one section of track is not connected? Doesn't make sense. I'm gonna try it again. Let's see. Jonesboro North, you're going all the way to here.
The signals are all set in the correct direction, unless one of them is not. But why is my treat not going through? Let's see, maybe I actually forgot to do a connection link? Let's see. Or... Ah, here's the problem. This curved section wasn't connected to the station. Now, let's try to see if this will work. Cannot connect all stations. I think I'll have to re-add them again, I think. Cannot connect all stations. What? But but how? I mean, I connected the, the track. To oh! This track is still not being connected properly. There we go. Jeez. This will be Freight Train E, which will be carrying grain. This will be blue. I have a full load. Wait for 10 minutes, and it will just travel down the main line through the new freight bypass at Memphis Central Station. And then all the way over the bridge into New Orleans. The train will unload its commodities there, and now let's basically get some new equipment. Let's see. Let's acquire the bolt the 260 mogul and several of these box cars. Now, normally in the vanilla game, grain is only delivered in open top wagons. However, it's different in this game because I basically replaced the original out of the mod where grain is loaded in box cars. As in the days long ago, grain was carried in box cars before the arrival of newly designed cover toppers. So we'll basically increase our loan up a small bit to about 200 million and then sign it to that new grain service. Which also reminds me, it's also time to get started on the freight on the new branch line path freight train. This will be known as Freight Train D3. Foodstuffs. I have a full load of 10 minutes. And is this going to be unique? Because since we're going to deliver milk later on to be made into dairy products, like butter and stuff like that, we'll probably just add a couple of these reefer cars to the train. Three hundred units of cargo. That's a pretty good amount. We'll buy it and put it to work on freight train D three. And since that two eight zero only goes to thirty seven miles an hour, it can easily handle the lot the distance between New Orleans and Olympus. All train. Hang on. All vehicles at full. Good working condition. And, let's see. Hmm. Ah, yes, of course. The new passenger service. Which will be traveling from Memphis Central Station into Jonesboro. This will be local passenger... Train G. And the track will base and the trains will just enter and exit on platform one. And of course, since the tr since the train that's gonna be going into the station, passenger train D, it will need to have a cloned variant of it. Okay, eleven point seven million. I'll take out another loan. Clone it, and then just reassign it to the new service. And this is locomotive number 27. Okay, after 27... 
Oh, wait. 35. That's the latest one so far. So, 37. Let's see. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting so confused. 35. Okay. After 35 comes number 42. Will this engine actually have the Union Pacific lettering on its side? Let's take a look. Yeah, it does. Let's replace it with something else. Let's try number 45. There we go. Much better. Alright! So, we got a lot of good stuff happening now. We got more passengers traveling. We got more freight to ship. And now, with a connection with our grain farm now fully connected to the main line, we can now start delivering grain southwards towards New Orleans. Though we'll also need to deliver corn as well as milk. But thankfully, it won't be mu too much longer. So, if you enjoy this episode of my Let's Play, of oh, I actually forgotten that there was no roof here. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play at Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my onset schedule. And, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!